Ah, yes. Uh, We're here. Daily questions with your boy. Anything you guys want on Patreon, I got you. Pop culture, sports, life, motivation, great guys, great girls, whatever you're into, I won't judge. I promise. It's your boy. So, the artist known as Dominic, one name, like a Brazilian soccer player. He asked, is a Super Bowl halftime show over or underrated? Um, it could be overrated. It could be very overrated. If you go on Twitter, people will tweet the generic, there is a football game during the Beyonce concert. We get it. Congrats. But, if you mean this halftime show, definitely not overrated. <laughs> it is. It's underrated. First of all, shout out to uh, Latino gang. Shout out to the Latinas. Shout out to A Street. Shout out to Double A. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, Shakira and J Lo absolutely rocked it. What did you expect to happen? You're talking about two icons in the game. Two women that their style, what they stand for, their sex appeal was that, right? Like, what did you expect them to do? Wear tuxedos and perform? No. They're in the Spanish capital of the world in the 305. Obviously, they were going to have Latinos out there, right? Bad Bunny crushing it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Marks out there. Big wrestling fan is Bad Bunny. So I don't think that the outrage is warranted right nancy from idaho probably is upset because she saw the yams out there and she was jealous right everyone got insecurities you know what i'm saying but i don't understand the outrage to answer your question if you mean the the super bowl halftime shows in general those can be overrated but this one in particular <laughs> the five star frog splash from the boy you know what i'm saying no complaints thank you thank you shakira and jayla Name five things you love about Sammy Watkins. All right. So let me just explain this thing. Sammy Watkins came out in 2014 and uh, never met the guy. Never did anything bad for me. I just think he's overrated. Um, I wouldn't want to pay him what he's getting paid. North of $20 million this upcoming season in 2020. But hey, listen. Congrats. You are as valuable as what a team wants to give you. So if a team wants to break the bank for you, more power to you. Your agent deserves a lot of tugs. With that being said, um, he's fast, number one. Number two, he is going to draw attention. Number three, in that system in Kansas City, he's going to be productive, though he wasn't this year. But he's going to be productive because he's the fourth option on the team so if he's your number three weapon number four weapon that's elite right he's a tremendous third fourth option might be the best third four option in the game but if he's your number one wide receiver i don't really like it uh another reason um i bet the chiefs to win the super bowl so you know, he had a nice nice playoff run. He caught a very important pass in the Super Bowl. And number five, um, hmm. probably has a nice smile. I take Sammy Watkins for having a nice smile. What do we think? Yeah, not bad. Not terrible. Not great, but above average. <laughs> Top five cities to travel and visit to. Now, is it cities that I've been to or I would like to be to? That was horrible English, but this is what you get. Is it cities that I've been to or is it cities I would like to visit? I'm going to give you a little bit of both. So, obviously Miami. Um, you guys know. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very uh, pleasant on the eyes. The palm trees alone give me a semi. 
it's 70 degrees all year round. Some of the people I know down in Miami, they bitch and moan when it's 65 degrees and they got their hoods up, you know, and they're all like, oh, my God, it's freezing. Ooh, it's like suck the left. All right. It's not that bad when it's 25 degrees in New York at the time I'm recording this. Uh, so obviously Miami, love Vegas. Uh, pretty much everything applies for Miami to Vegas. It's the artificial capital of the world, betting capital of the world. It's the Disney world of sports betting. Um, also tremendous on the eyes, and it's a desert. So you have that as well. Um, loved Toronto. Toronto was dope. I've been there twice. I've been there one time for OVO Fest. It was Drake and Meek when they were beefing, and that was dope as hell. Also very nice on the eyes. I don't know what they eat and drink out there, but it's like a lot of the people out there, it's like natural beauties, right? There's not much uh, enhancement. And um, I would love to go to Tokyo. Tokyo is like my number one dream city to go to. It's don't understand why I may a big, I'm a big fast and furious guy. I know that's like a hot take. It's very unpopular because they're up to number nine and Vin Diesel came out and said that there's going to be a 10th one. I like the fast movies. I don't know. They're entertaining. It's cool. Um, So maybe Tokyo drift got me inspired by that big wrestling fan. So Tokyo, you always hear wrestlers talk about the Tokyo dome brother. And um, I've been to Greece when I was younger. Uh, oh, I got to go to like Colombia. Uh, Medellin, uh, you know, I mean, if I go down there, I might not come back. I really might just stay there, find a wife, um, or 50 bucks. You could live like a king down there. And I think I've said too much. So yeah, I hope that answers your question, Jack. Jack. <laughs>